So it's been a few weeks since I recorded a video showing how I'm using AI in my business, my life, my side hustles, and a few weeks feels like a lifetime. So I'm gonna give you guys some updates on what I've been seeing. Let's go. All right, so each week I share kind of what I'm working on in my email newsletter and I showcase some AI stuff. So if we just go to some of the recent, uh, the recent posts, I'm just going to the last few weeks of posts. Uh, I'll just kind of go through them and, and, and hit you guys with some stuff. I'll probably forget some stuff that I created just because it's just like, it's all happening so fast. It's insane. I almost forgot about this. I made a death calculator. For real. So I bought the domain, howlonguntilidie.com, which I forwarded to my website, brooksconkle.com. And you can see why I made this death calculator. I just, I feel like it's important to to remember that at some point your life's gonna expire, it's going to end. So like, how many weeks do you have left to like get out there and do some stuff, right? So it's kind of a positive spin on, on dying. I really like the, the phrase memento mori. I used Claude.ai to build this calculator. And it's not just a calculator. Like, I mean, it is, but okay. So it's a little more advanced than that. So I'm 40 years old. Show me how long until I die, okay? First of all, we get a visual representation in dots for how many weeks you have left until you're going to die. I think that's pretty cool. So you have about 1,976 weeks. Then I have this positive saying, tell someone how much they mean to you today. And then I have uh, some resources that it links to. The calculator does that. Really neat. Now I have not embedded this anywhere else on my website yet, but dang. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. All right, let's keep scrolling through this one, this email, and see. Oh, yep. So I launched this document to just start tracking AI tools. Feel free to, um, I'll link to it below, but brooksconkle.com forward slash AI. Let's test that real quick. Brooksconkle forward slash AI. Is it AI tools or just AI? I think it's AI. Yep, slash AI and you'll get there. And so I'm gonna be actively updating this document and it's like tools that I'm using, also tools that I am I need to test because things are happening so quickly, right? So feel free to check that out for free. Um, no charge to you. If I have a referral link, I add it. Like I, I do use my referral link. Um, plenty of resources are, are free that you can, um, you can check out there. Okay, so let's move to the next email here. Let's go into this one and see what I talked about. Games. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go into games, but so again, Claude.ai, and if you're just Claude.ai, go see if you can register for an account. Their newest large language model is pretty darn amazing. It's Claude 3.5 Sonnet. It can do stuff like coding. Um, you can just see this little blip of this game that I started creating. So my friend in another city created a Wordle game and I'm going to potentially be doing that for us. Um, I'm not prepared to show, I have a couple of the games, but there's like a few small minor things that aren't working correctly. I have a Tetris game. Um, I started a, a memory game, but games. So like games is something that, and, and we have a local media newsletter. So it's actually a useful thing. It's not just like random things. It's like useful things and we can target the games to our local audience. So that it actually makes it more fun. Take a regular game. Oh, tic-tac-toe is one. So, um, is a game that we created. So like you could take it, but you can, you can move it and bend it towards your audience. And that's kind of, that's what we're doing. So I'll report more back on that soon. The death calculator just made me think of something else. I created another tool. Let me show you. Here it is. I almost forgot that I made this tool. So a YouTube thumbnail extractor. Now I, I basically stole this idea from someone else. And then um, I heard it on a podcast, Niche Pursuit podcast, shout out. It was their weird, weird niche site. Uh, I say both niche and niche, just so you know. Uh, their site of the day. And then when you Google, there were a ton of these. And so I was like, well, maybe I can just build my own. And so I did just that so let's plug in we'll plug in a a channel i'll try to cut all this out so you're not having to watch it all right cool so let's see what happens so i grabbed a youtube um url boom i click go it extracts the thumbnail here it is now why is that useful because when you're on youtube and you hover over the video maybe you see a cool thumbnail that you like 
um, it just it doesn't stay, right? It goes into the little things. I take screen grabs of thumbnails that I see and that I like all the time, but this is a way you can drop in a link, get a thumbnail, right click, you can save it. Um, so then you can store thumbnails. Simple tool, cool. I may even set up a separate website for this. Um, I can't remember if I bought a domain. I don't think I, I don't think I purchased a domain, but um, I probably still should, just because it's not really hard, and I could just link to the link to the tool, and it could be its own separate website. I guess the question is, why should it be its own separate website? I don't know. So that's something I'm thinking of. Okay, let's go back to my email. So is this a different email? No, nope. I already went through that one. Showed you the document, games. Let me go to my notes because I feel like I had a few other items. Yep, so in my notes, I'll just show you the other tools that we're continuing to use as things like these tools keep getting better and better. So 11 Labs for realistic speech keeps getting better. It's pretty amazing. They just brought out a thing where you can actually create sound effects is what I'm trying to say. You can even produce sound effects now. That's a brand new feature. The other tool being Suno, we're still using Suno.com to create our own music. It's fun, it's amazing. We actually have a YouTube channel that we're building out of it. We're using it for music on our own channels just so that we have the rights to the music and we can basically create exactly what we want. Pretty dang amazing. So I'll circle back. I'll circle back in a few weeks and make you another video to show you what's changed for us in just a matter of a few weeks. Uh, another thing we're also looking at is we're creating bots with a uh, with a company that we have a lifetime license to and that's pretty interesting. So I'm sampling that I'm using AI and domain flipping But if you're interested in domain names follow us for that. But yeah, this is just uh, it's exciting time exciting time. See you out there